Yo, what is good everybody? Kole back here again with a new video. So today we're back at it again. My most popular video was the Australian animals one. So we're back again, casually explained, first date mistakes. We're finna learn from this. Cause I've gone with my first date yet, yeah, well I have, but like, my girl's probably watching this video. What's up baby? But um, we finna see how to um, get, run away from the mistakes you know what I'm trying to say but yeah if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit that like button to help me up in the algorithm but yeah let's get straight to the video let me stop wasting your time oh whoa, no way <laughs> bro I swear now, to God I'm no expert on dating which is why you can trust I know what I'm talking about so whenever it comes to first uh, things, the yeah. obvious question is how do I get one and I'm no pickup artist I say hoping you would have thought otherwise but there's no magic words you can use to convince someone to go on a date with you. And if there was, the closest we have is writing, You have beautiful eyes, in the Pornhub comment section. In reality, getting a date in this day and age is pretty straightforward. Convey that you're an attractive enough person in both looks and personality, and Jeez. the way for your step-parents to go on a cruise. Now, the obvious way most people nowadays are getting yeah, first nah, dates is dating Tinder, apps bro. like Tinder Bumble, and Bumble. Too, bro. And in my experience, a lot of people feel like they aren't getting what they want. Guys say things like, Oh, I never get any matches. It's a waste of time unless you're like a male model. And then the profile is a blurry Big photo fish of them a in a holding a foot long shot. <laughs> now, uh, I hate to bring it to you, but if you expect to match with a Victoria's Secret model, you're going to have to get up to at least a three foot halibut. Similarly, yeah, a lot of attractive women say things like, ah, there's just no good guys on here. It's like, why do I even try? And then their bio is like, Sophie, 25, love to meet new friends and have fun, winky face. And as a guy, when you see someone put like no effort into their bio, you just think, yeah, still pretty hot. Oh so my, that is true too, bro. Date, I feel like y'all just, uh, the level of people these days, I swear like, it's just low, my guy. I swear, bro. Like, I don't even know what to say, bro. This is how it is. If you know, if you know, you know, if you don't know, you'll know sooner or later, my boy. Getting to the real issues. Now, there are a lot of questions I've found on Reddit from people who've never gone on a date before, and so I wanted to get those out of the way really quickly before we move on. Where should I go for a first date? Uh, somewhere you'd enjoy going by yourself anyway. So yeah, drinks. Uh, where should I go if I'm not 21? I don't know, church? Oh, Who should pay on a date? Uh, this depends on if you made a YouTube oh, yeah. If it says 21, it's 18 over here, because it's Aussie channel, you know? For that month. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, usually her. Uh, is it bad to have sex on the first date? Well, I'm afraid it's 2021, so the question isn't whether you had sex, it's whether you held hands. Uh, <laughs> could you tell her your sexual fetishes on the first date? No. Uh, no? <laughs> That's why we have Twitch. Okay, so let's get down to the huh? biggest first date mistakes. Making the fact that you're on a date ambiguous. Uh, one of the most common feels bad man scenarios is going on a date with someone to somewhere fairly platonic like a cafe and halfway through your coffee they start talking about their boyfriend and you're like, oh no, hey, I don't know what you thought this was and I probably didn't communicate this properly, but like, I'm down to experiment, dude. Uh, leading with money. Oh. Uh, a lot oh. of guys think that girls like men with a lot of money. This is false. Uh, girls like cool men with a lot of money. So, unfortunately, she's not going to be impressed that you bought GameStop and AMC at the top, even though you're sure it's going to squeeze any time now. Slow texting. Uh, a lot of new daters feel they have to artificially stagger their texting to seem busy or unavailable. This is stupid because you are available. Instead, you should artificially stagger your texting because you're overthinking every word of your response. Uh, mm. Bragging. Bragging is probably one of the worst things you can do on a date because you convey to the other person that you're insecure about your social value unless you leverage your one unrelated <laughs> source of of significance. Uh, worrying about what to say. <laughs> what Most fuck? people get really nervous on dates, filter themselves too much, and awkwardly run out of things to say. Why is the that little man that you'll find is that it's not what you say that matters, it's how you say it, which is mostly true. But that's like saying, don't be nervous and just be cool, you idiot. If you actually want this To be honest, I want to see who this, the real guy is. I used to watch this guy all the time, and I still do now with the reaction videos, but I really want to know what he looks like in real life, because it sounds like a funny guy. Solution to being so nervous. In my experience, it's A, it's fine not to say anything, and B, have a storyline. Uh, if you know baby. the topics and stories you really want to share, then you can just completely improvise. If this first section is your trip to Coco Bongo in Cancun, it might be a five minute story, but the conversation will inevitably splinter into her trip to Mexico, clubbing, regrettable experiences, and getting kidnapped by the cartel. Then when those topics <laughs> run out, you just say, anyway, and go back to the main storyline. If you then run out of storyline entirely and the date gets really awkward, just grab your emergency kit, roofie yourself, and wake up the next day embarrassment-free. 
doing something that hey, doesn't match yo, your personality. I'm not Cardi B, my boy. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. If you I'm joking, talking, like Cardi B, relax, like relax. Cooler board games and allow her to absorb your personality by destroying her <laughs> play. chest. Play to your strengths and your lifestyle. If you're an attractive guy, use Tinder. If you're really charismatic, get yourself into more social circles. If you're neither, like honestly, All right, my cheers. Boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Our date with each other today has been sponsored by Express. Hey, yo, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, we this way she thinks I'm from this. Yeah, let me. And now securely comp. Yeah, uh, go show some love to Cash to Explain though. Go check his out merch and all that. Uh, he's really good content. But yeah, uh, subscribe to him. Come back to the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and you're at the end of the video. Hit that like button because it helps you out in the algorithm. Thank you for being here. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.